Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we, of course, finally got the Renetti nerf within Warzone. Obviously, since the Season 3 update last week, the Renetti has been dominating the game. It's the only weapon anyone's been using, but today, it caught a pretty heavy nerf. But that said, there's been some data that's been out there for some time with a handful of different weapons that have had pretty crazy, pretty broken TTKs. And obviously with the Renetti causing such a commotion with its TTK, I wanted to point out that while yes, the Renetti was nerfed and we'll talk about what its damage is like post nerf and if it's even worth using, uh, there are some other weapons in the game right now that if you wanted to try and replicate or duplicate that Renetti TTK, you potentially could in some different ways. But I wanted to start here first on True Game Data. Huge shout out to Tony for putting in the work and getting us this information so quick after the update today so we can easily go through and break this down. I love the fact that Tony allows us to see what the damage is like pre-nerf, which is what I have here, and then the currently updated one. And you can see that the pre-nerf line, our orange line here, vastly greater than the post nerf our red line here so yes this was a significant nerf to the Renetti across the board this is very very important obviously it's going to balance out the Renetti a lot but let's take a look at this post nerf Renetti versus some of those other top tier close range options first just to see if like it's even worth using the post nerf one so here we're gonna have our pre nerf Renetti and our post nerf Renetti we're also gonna have the other top tier close range options the AMR9 the HRM9 the Swarm the Wasp9 the Striker9 we can even go through here and uh, and add in the ram nine as well and when we go ahead and we look at all weapons with a combination shot ttk you can see clearly before we've got our orange line it was the broken Renetti absolutely busted and it was better than absolutely everything in the game we go ahead and hide that now though and this is the post nerf Renetti meta and as you can see our red line here really with the Renetti all it's doing now is blending in a lot more with the other close range meta options so this is a nerf that balances it out but it is still very competitive so if you wanted to continue to use the Renetti and you like the feel of it you can get away with it and it'll actually be decently competitive up till about 12 meters after that damage range drop off though not really worth using anymore other smgs are going to easily overtake it but for the super close range meta it's still viable but let's talk the busted ttks now the broken ttks and see just how much we can get a weapon to resemble the pre-nerf renetti so again we've got our pre and post nerf renetti's orange line being pre-nerf red being post nerf now the HRM we just saw really competitive now and honestly it's going to be the better choice than the nerfed Renetti if you're looking for an absolute close range meta that's an SMG it is the HRM9 but a couple of other weapons you might want to experiment around with the Wasp Stinger particularly when you go through and add the akimbo attachment on it kind of goes crazy remember our orange line is our pre nerf Renetti and in the close range up through 17 meters which is probably the max you'd be using an akimbo weapon anyways the wasp stinger akimbo can actually be really really close to that initial renetti ttk however there's an asterisk here this is an akimbo weapon so you are gambling on accuracy here using akimbo even when we go through and i'll break down a loadout for it even when we go through and we max out accuracy you're not going to hit every shot like you would if you were simply adsing weapons so that level of rng is incredibly important and does mean that while this ttk on paper is super super close and if you got lucky with your shots or you're like barrel stuffing an enemy you could absolutely mimic this close range ttk in like the zero to 10 meter range it's going to be a lot more of a gamble what's not as much of a gamble though is actually the core 45 with its conversion kit on it and this has been this like ttk super broken super fast for a long time now there also i would say is an asterisk here in its overall feel in game the Renetti being so broken and so busted is bumped up because its TTK is obviously crazy, but it's also ridiculously easy to use. The control is easy. Its movement is good. The Core 45 with this conversion kit gives it a binary trigger, so it's almost like it's a two-round burst, and the TTK, as we can see here, again, goes crazy. It's not going to be as busted in the close range of those first 17 meters, but, uh, you know, from 17 to 30, if you want to try and use a pistol in that range, it's also possible, and technically speaking right now, the core 45 does have a faster close range ttk than any smg in the game as well so not nearly as broken but close to being uh you know a viable option in the close range as opposed to just using a standard smg with this though the more you spam the core 45 the more you're gonna see that its recoil does kind of go crazy with 
the binary trigger on there so it has a much higher skill gap than the Renetti would whatsoever but clearly it laps the SMGs especially out of their first damage range uh you know in the 11 to 15 meter range it starts to take over a lot more there so there are some viable broken TTK options here they're just not going to be as smooth as the Renetti but that said let's jump into game and I'll break down some setups for these new top three viable TTK options in the close range of course there's an update requires restart why wouldn't there be so as we break down some setups here quick reminder if you are new to the channel or you simply have not subscribed yet let's change that because every single day this is your one-stop shop for news updates patch notes meta breakdowns really all things going on in cod are right here so feel free to hit that sub button and if you enjoy this video or if you find it helpful do me a favor and drop a like on it it's always really appreciated so with the hrm what i would consider probably to be the true number one realistic close range meta and now it's going to be the same setup we've been talking about for some time honestly zem 35 compensator minimal uh you know mobility cons here gonna make the gun easier to use in general thorn 90 barrel speeds it up a ton makes it even more aggressive dr6 hand stop better mobility across the board with movement strafe ads sprint to fire 50 round extended mag hatchet light stock on here as well very basic we know all about this setup by now now for the akimbo stinger you are a little bit limited on attachments here ultimately just because of how this weapon functions with akimbo on it so obviously you're going to be using the akimbo rear grip option here uh 32 round mag option that's going to be the max magazine capacity here now luckily you got two guns so that's a decent amount of ammo but it's no 45 it's no 50 it's no 60 you will be somewhat limited i also go for the sidearm l400 laser just going to do a lot for your hip fire accuracy obviously you want that to be as accurate as possible and then quite frankly the stocks aren't really all that great they're just focusing on control and that's not a huge deal and they slow you down a ton the 12 short compensated barrel i guess would be your best bet it'll maybe do some stuff for control but it does actually speed up your sprint to fire a tad bit it hurts your ads but that obviously doesn't matter and these other ones don't really do anything beneficial here maybe extending the range some would be somewhat viable but it's going to hurt your sprint to fire a tad bit i don't love that but uh the uh, short light we got another playlist update with the short barrel though it is going to actually take away your ability to use that muzzle so you know take that for what it's worth if you wanted to use the short barrel for the better sprint to fire i just throw on a hollow point i guess as an ammo upgrade here but you could also build it out so that you end up dropping the barrel go for the short light barrel instead it does extend that range as mentioned and then you can mess around with various different compensators if you wanted to or muzzles here if you wanted to stay suppressed that'd be great if you wanted to use something that would help out uh with general control or something like the breacher device which actually gives you better hip fire would be ideal there too so you can sort of mess around and see what works well for you we jump into the firing range though as mentioned the accuracy is something that's going to be taken into account here you can see in the top left it says i'm 13 percent on this first dummy as you spray and pray it's going to be noticeable you know with your hip fire control there is a decent amount of kick to this thing you're going to be in the close range luckily and like running and gunning aim assist my factor into some of it right but like it's noticeable it's really going to be an rng factored ttk it can be absolutely crazy or it could be a little bit more mediocre and that's something to be very aware of and then for the core which i think is maybe a little bit more realistic in terms of having a viable option that could outgun smgs that also isn't super difficult to use uh you do have a couple of viable setups here too so obviously you have to have the conversion kit on here that's step one i might as well go for the 40 round mag here the more ammo the merrier here you don't have to reload as often of course i like using the uh precision stock on here which you get with the aftermarket part just gonna make the gun a little bit easier to control uh and its mobility cons are pretty minimal two percent to ads and sprint to fire is not really a huge Huge deal especially for running something like the dr6 hand stop which obviously speeds it up then i go for the sonic suppressor helps out with the uh range a little bit and gets that faster ttk out to a better range which is nice so this is a more so iron side based build that's pretty consistent you can see like as you're spamming it it's got a decent fire rate but there is some noticeable control and as you extend into that mid-range sum it's obviously gonna be a little bit more noticeable especially with the iron sight that said if you're okay with it being a little bit slower i'd probably recommend dropping the dr6 hand stop and then just throwing on whatever optic you're the most comfortable with slate it could be an uh reflector site a night or whatever the case may be and if that's going to help you out uh, in terms of landing more shots because you can see your target better of course always go for that it's just a matter of comfortability and preference there but in theory there are some new competitors for having busted ttks in that close range meta and if you're looking for a replacement to the renetti i think the obvious choice is the hrm from a more practical standpoint but that being said that's gonna wrap things up for this one if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out